Welcome back to the Morning Blend. As parents, we push our kids to excel in school, thinking good grades and a focus on academics, you know, is going to make our kids successful adults. But experts say playtime is key to raising children who are happy and successful in life. And remember the old saying, all work and no play makes Jack or Jill dull children? Mm -hmm. Well, it's true. It is true. Play is much, much, much more important than it's. It, it's important to have fun. Absolutely. There you go. I, I think it's important for adults, too, but it truly yeah. affects their development. David Van Handel is a child and family therapist, and he's here to explain why playtime is super invaluable. Some of the research behind it. Good to have you here. Thank you nice for having you. me. I think this is so interesting. Molly um, and I were talking about it this morning and just saying, you know, it's one of those things as an adult, you think back to how you were raised, how you played, and we're going to kind of break down some of these play styles, yes. maybe what they develop in your child. But define play for us. How do you describe play? Yes. Essentially, a simple definition is an activity that is for recreation and enjoyment. So fun something meant to be fun but for children in particular play entails a lot more mm -hmm. it develops creativity and imagination improves social skills develops cognitive abilities teaches children about how to win and lose etc mm -hmm. etc et a lot of learning takes place during play well, you think about even kids who grew up as an only child or don't play well with other kids and how even adults sort of talk about that and say, yes. oh, well, you know, they're going to have problems later because they can't fit in or right. they can't get along or they can't work together. Those sorts of things are developed very early on in these different types of play, correct? Yes, yes. A lot of the children that I work with in my practice, um, I do play therapy with. Mm -hmm. And a lot is revealed in terms of their abilities, stress levels, anxiety, depression, it really shows itself up, it shows itself. And children who do not play enough are much higher on the stress levels. I believe that. I think it's fascinating what you, you say too. Recent research clearly indicates that good grades do not correlate highly with success and happiness later in life. In fact, um, the emphasis on achievement, and yes. we all do it as parents, I'm as guilty as the next person, increases anxiety and depression and decreases creativity and performance. Yes. it's. There's such a strong emphasis on the bottom line, grades, et cetera. Um, it, our culture is, is like that, and the research indicates it, it just doesn't add up in, in terms of developing successful, happy children, and then, of course, adults. Too much of anything is going to cause a problem. So, okay, let's break down the categories, but I just yes. want to clarify, because when you think of play, a lot of people will say, well, do video games right. um, count within play? Is, is that an active form of play, or is that a, a passive form that doesn't count? It, it's sort of in between, mm -hmm. um, because there is activity going on, you know, mm -hmm. with video and gaming. Dexterity. Exactly, physical dexterity. It is stimulating the brain. It is highly passive, though, when you compare that to playing soccer. Yeah. Et cetera, mm -hmm. something that is far more active. Our culture, all we have to do is study obesity rates, is not as active as it was as we were growing up. Mm -hmm. So let's break down the categories yeah. as Tiff just mentioned. Yes. So there's direction, directed rather, or what you call structured play versus free or unstructured play. Right. Tiff and I mentioned to you that we had a lot more free yes. or unstructured play yes. as kids where I free. feel like now so much of it is, is directed or structured. Yes, I grew up in a sports family so mm -hmm. I was doing sports all the time. Most of it back then was free or unstructured play. Right. Pick up games. We just played. We yep, went out and we park. played. Uh, playing with dolls. E playing with Legos. Exactly. Exactly. Kick the can. Yes, exactly. We yeah. played a lot of kick the can. That, that was a big one. Team sports fit in the category of structured play, which means that there are rules attached to mm -hmm. it um, and that's important it's important to learn about rules in life we all need that to take place and they can also be adult driven because they're often coaches who are adults or parents exactly mm. so that's another division adult driven or child driven and adult driven play is needed because sometimes kids developmentally aren't ready to organize teams yeah. et cetera, et cetera. so coaches um, are, are needed okay child driven play is when 
they just do it themselves in in the backyard in the basement wherever the it is can, kick the, the can like that. Mm -hmm. kick the can yes. and there are combined types of play where there there's some structure rules but also room room for kids maybe to pick the teams or st help structure the rules yes combined play an example of that is if you were at a family picnic and there was a pickup game that has rules to it let's say a pickup soccer game it has certain rules to it but less so and it combines adults and children and it's much more democratic mm -hmm. okay just really quick the age of kids are we talking you know zero to to ten or are we talking even high schoolers um all of the above um, everybody it, yes yes it, it includes everyone um in terms of working in my practice the youngest children i work with are typically about three years old, mm -hmm. which is unfortunate that kids are showing symptoms um, of anxiety or depression at that early age, but mm -hmm. it's it's just reality. how it is, it's reality. You yeah. have some wonderful recommendations yeah. for pants. We ran out of time, I'm so bummed because mm -hmm. your whole article, I highlighted the whole entire thing. Uh, tried so to I, just hit things, I know, we tried <laughs> right. to hit the highlights, um, but you have this wonderful issue that's mm -hmm. in the August um, edition of Metro Parent Magazine. It's available online, um, it's also available in print. Be sure you pick up the August issue. It's MetroParentMagazine.com because there's a whole list of things the parents should do as a recommendation, recommendation, including finding the right play partners and circumstances for your kids sometimes takes time and effort, yes. but it's worth it when you mm -hmm. think about those play dates. So great yes. information. Thank you, Wonderful. Thank you for Pleasure having me. Pleasure to meet you. Thank